no, no. You guys need to back up. I can't see the cars. Okay, back up, guys. You can't see the cars. They got the f out of the way. I can't see. There are cars there, motherfucker. Get out of the way. Hollywood, California, one of the most visited places on Earth, is filled with people who would love to see their favorite performers, meet them in person, or even become one of them. But when you have that many people in one place, you must have a jerk or two. From those who are rude to the people they work with to those who committed some serious felonies, in today's video, we will be talking about the biggest jerks in Hollywood history. Let's begin. 20. Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle's casting as Fanny Bryce in Broadway's Funny Girl revival has been steeped in controversy since its inception. For years, rumors of Leah's onset bullying and diva-like behavior have pervaded the entertainment industry, particularly thanks to accusations leveled by her former Glee co-stars. This reputation of being difficult to work with makes her replacement of Beanie Feldstein a headline-grabbing move. She told me it looked like I had, no, a penis, you said. It looked like I had a penis. And then she picked me up and I fell on you, which made me feel like a thousand pounds. So I'm feeling great today. Why would someone take one of the biggest jerks in Hollywood's history to work with? Could it be the publicity? Leah's casting shows a broader issue of accountability in Hollywood. Despite the numerous public accusations, she continues to secure high-profile roles. While some see this as a redemption arc, others find it a disheartening example of powerful figures seemingly evading consequences for toxic behavior. The true test will be in the coming years. All eyes are on Leah as she steps into this iconic role. Will she manage to shed the negative image and prove professionalism? We must wait and see how this all turns out. 19. Toby Maguire Toby Maguire, beloved for his portrayal of the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, harbored a darker side exposed in Molly Bloom's tell-all memoir, Molly's Game. Molly, the organizer of clandestine high-stakes poker games catering to Hollywood's elite, paints a troubling picture of the actor. Toby, a regular at her games, earned an ignominious reputation. Molly dubbed Toby the worst tipper, the best player, and the biggest jerk when he loses. This potent combination suggests a win-at-all-costs mentality at odds with his heroic public persona. Reports that Toby humiliated Molly, asking her to bark like a seal for a thousand dollars, around 950 euros, further solidify this image of a man transformed by the thrill and ruthlessness of the gambling scene. Toby's story raises uncomfortable questions. How do we reconcile beloved public figures with their potentially flawed private actions? Does exceptional talent excuse toxic behavior? This glimpse into the shadows of Hollywood challenges the notion of celebrity and suggests that even our on-screen heroes can harbor less than heroic tendencies. 18. Megan Fox Megan Fox's explosive exit from the Transformers franchise remains a hot topic in Hollywood lore. Her abrupt replacement after the second film ignited a public feud that exposed the darker side of the director-actor dynamic. Megan's public criticism of director Michael Bay painted him as demanding and tyrannical, dubbing him a nightmare to work for. This ignited a backlash, with anonymous crew members fiercely defending Michael and painting Megan as the true source of onset friction. This, he said, she said, situation perfectly illustrates the power imbalances that often exist within the film industry. Questions lingered. Was Megan's outspokenness a justified response to a toxic work environment, or was she genuinely difficult? Did Michael Bay's reputation protect him? The aftermath was swift. Rosie Huntington Whiteley stepped into Megan's shoes for the third film, and reportedly encountered no issues with the director, proving that the claims were, in fact, true. Megan is one of the biggest jerks in Hollywood history. 17. Mariah Carey Mariah Carey, the reigning queen of pop vocals, has captivated audiences since her dazzling debut in the 90s. Her soaring voice and undeniable talent have earned her a devoted fan base, but that enduring fame may have come with a touch of diva behavior. Well, more than a touch. Stories abound of Mariah's extravagant demands and her larger-than-life persona. 
She reportedly left President Obama's inauguration ceremony after expressing dissatisfaction with her seating arrangements. She believed she deserved royal treatment and was upset when she realized she wasn't seated at the same table as the first couple. There are whispers of red carpets unfurling just for her to step out of a hotel. She reportedly prefers being carried up and down stairs rather than using them herself. While these might seem outlandish, it's important to remember that celebrities exist in a world far removed from the ordinary. It's easy to scoff at such behavior, just as we might roll our eyes at a toddler demanding only the blue cup. So do you think she is that much of a jerk or not? Because Hollywood surely does. 16. Mike Myers Beneath the laughter and iconic characters, Mike Myers, the comedic genius behind Austin Powers and Wayne's World, carries a less than stellar reputation in Hollywood. Stories paint him as a difficult and demanding collaborator, earning him the unfortunate title of one of the industry's biggest jerks. Reports detail Mike's penchant for micromanaging on set, often clashing with directors over creative control. His perfectionism, while fueling his comedic success, allegedly translates into inflexibility and a tendency to berate those who don't meet his exacting standards. There's the infamous incident where Mike reportedly threw a tantrum on the set of Wayne's World because catering didn't have his preferred margarine. Can you believe it? While these are often second-hand accounts, potentially exaggerated or colored by individual experiences, when such stories persist, they point to a pattern of behavior that extends beyond the quirky antics we expect from comedians. 15. Jesse Eisenberg Jesse Eisenberg, known for his acclaimed roles in films like The Social Network and Zombieland, has a reputation in Hollywood that clashes with his often awkward on-screen persona. He's garnered a label as one of the industry's meanest, with stories painting a picture of a cold and dismissive demeanor. One particularly notorious incident involves an interview with journalist Romina Puga. Jesse's condescending comments and insistence that Romina cries for the camera left her visibly shaken. The exchange went viral, with many viewers interpreting his behavior as needlessly cruel rather than dry humor. Reports from film sets echo this sentiment, describing an actor prone to making insensitive remarks and belittling those around him. While some attribute this to Jesse's social awkwardness, others see calculated meanness masked as an unconventional sense of humor. 14. James Corden James Corden, the once beloved host of The Late Late Show, has seen his reputation tarnished as stories of his unpleasant behavior have surfaced. Once known for his infectious laugh and playful segments, James is now more likely to be associated with allegations of rudeness and a sense of self-importance. The tipping point came when Keith McNally, the respected owner of the popular NYC restaurant Balthazar, took to social media to expose James's repeated mistreatment of staff. This wasn't a single outburst. Keith detailed multiple instances of harmful behavior, highlighting a pattern that shattered James's carefully cultivated, likable persona. Further whispers from within the industry paint a picture of a demanding and volatile figure. There are stories of James berating crew members, making unreasonable requests, and generally creating a toxic atmosphere on set. These accounts suggest an individual who believes his fame grants him the right to treat others poorly, and the result is a growing reputation as one of the biggest jerks in Hollywood history. Do you agree? 13. Michael Jackson While Michael Jackson was a revolutionary force in music and pop culture, the question of his character remains a source of controversy and unease. His reputation took a significant blow due to repeated allegations of child S.A. Though acquitted in his 2005 trial, the accusations and the media frenzy surrounding them left an indelible mark on his legacy, painting a disturbing picture for many that remains difficult to reconcile with his image as the beloved king of pop. Michael's eccentric lifestyle further fueled public scrutiny. Neverland Ranch, with its amusement park and zoo, and his preference for the company of children, solidified his image as an oddity. This, combined with his changing appearance, led to tabloid speculation and whispers of predatory behavior. Moreover, reports from his collaborators sometimes depict a demanding and controlling perfectionist, 
suggesting a difficult personality behind the scenes. Some have suggested that Michael's manipulative nature enabled him to deflect criticism and garner sympathy, exploiting his own childlike image. This view, shared even by some of his family members, adds another troubling dimension to his complex persona and solidifies the reputation of being one of Hollywood's biggest jerks. 12. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres, the once-beloved daytime talk show host, has faced a dramatic fall from grace, earning her the unenviable title of one of the biggest jerks in Hollywood history. Her carefully cultivated image of kindness and light-hearted humor shattered in 2020 when a barrage of allegations surfaced, exposing a toxic workplace environment rife with bullying, intimidation, and mistreatment of staff. Former employees painted a picture of a demanding and controlling Ellen, quick to anger and prone to humiliating those who didn't meet her exacting standards. The contrast between her be kind mantra and the reality behind the scenes proved too stark to ignore. The public outcry was swift, fueled by a sense of betrayal from a woman who had championed kindness and compassion. While an internal investigation led to some changes within her show, the damage to Ellen's reputation was irreversible. Her apologies came across as hollow and calculated, leaving many feeling that her true character had finally been exposed. The entertainment industry is no stranger to difficult personalities, but the sheer scale of allegations against Ellen, coupled with her public persona built on positivity, surely makes her case particularly egregious. 11. Rihanna while Rihanna reigns as a pop icon and fashion mogul, her reputation is checkered with accusations of being one of Hollywood's biggest jerks. Fans and industry insiders alike have witnessed flashes of diva-like behavior and a dismissive attitude that clashes with her carefully crafted public persona. One particularly notorious incident was when Rihanna cyberbullied a teenage fan who had lovingly recreated one of the singer's iconic outfits for her prom. Instead of celebrating the girl's admiration, Rihanna mocked her on social media, highlighting a cruel streak that stunned many. This, combined with reports of Rihanna throwing tantrums on set, making unreasonable demands, and generally exhibiting a sense of entitlement, paint a picture of a star who believes the usual rules don't apply to her. Her well-documented penchant for tardiness often keeping fans and collaborators waiting for hours, is seen by many as disrespectful and inconsiderate. Social media has also fueled the narrative of Rihanna's less than pleasant side. Her history of online feuds, including spats with other celebrities and scathing clapbacks at fans, highlights a sharp tongue and a willingness to lash out publicly. 10. Will Ferrell Will Ferrell, beloved for his goofy comedic roles and larger-than-life characters, harbors a less-than-charming reputation behind the laughs. Stories abound of Will's dismissive and sometimes downright rude behavior, leaving a bitter taste in the mouths of fans and industry professionals alike. A common complaint is Will's tendency to tease and belittle fans who approach him for autographs or photos. Instead of embracing their enthusiasm, reports suggest he often ridicules their requests, using his sarcastic humor to make them feel foolish rather than delighted by the encounter. This disregard for the people who contribute to his success paints a picture of a man who has perhaps forgotten where he came from or believes his fame exempts him from basic courtesy. On film sets, Will's alleged perfectionism can sometimes spill over into simply being a jerk. There are whispers of him berating crew members for minor mistakes and creating an atmosphere of tension rather than the light-hearted environment one might expect from a comedian. Not nice Will, not at all. 9. Jamie Foxx Jamie Foxx, the multi-talented actor, singer, and comedian, possesses a darker side that clashes with his charismatic public persona. Stories from both fans and those within the industry paint a picture of an arrogant and sometimes volatile star, earning him a reputation as one of Hollywood's biggest jerks. Reports of Jamie's diva behavior are rife with tales of unreasonable demands and a sense of self-importance. There are stories of him lashing out at staff for minor inconveniences, expecting them to cater to his every whim, however outlandish. On set, his perfectionism can reportedly manifest as rudeness. 
Rather than offering constructive guidance, Jamie is accused of berating crew members and creating a tense, unpleasant working environment. This behavior suggests that he may believe his talent places him above common courtesy. To top it all, fans who have crossed paths with Jamie share stories of dismissive and condescending encounters. Instead of showing appreciation for their support, he allegedly brushes them off, or even worse, mocks their appearance or enthusiasm. If this doesn't shatter the illusion of the friendly star for those who admire him, I don't know what will. 8. Jared Leto Jared Leto, the Oscar-winning actor and musician, is as famous for his unsettling antics as he is for his transformative roles. While his talent and dedication are undeniable, his behavior reveals a darker, more disturbing side that has earned him a place among Hollywood's most difficult personalities. Jared's commitment to method acting often manifests in bizarre and questionable ways. To prepare for his role as the Joker in Suicide Squad, he reportedly sent disturbing gifts like used condoms and live rats to his castmates. This unsettling behavior goes beyond artistic intensity and suggests Jared is simply one of the biggest Hollywood jerks. Stories of Jared's diva-like behavior further tarnish his image. He's known for making unreasonable demands, throwing tantrums and treating crew members with disdain. This sense of entitlement hints at an ego that may have been dangerously inflated by years of success. While some might argue that Jared's intense focus could be misconstrued as arrogance, the sheer extremity of his methods calls this justification into question. The entertainment industry certainly tolerates eccentricities, but this might just be a little too much. 7. Russell Crowe Russell Crowe, the Oscar-winning powerhouse, has a reputation that precedes him, and it's not exactly for his charm. His fiery temper and inflated ego have earned him a spot as one of Hollywood's most notorious bad boys. His penchant for publicly bad-mouthing fellow stars is legendary. Remember when he called George Clooney a Frank Sinatra wannabe? George's epic clapback Dude, the only people who succeed when two famous people are fighting is People magazine, remains a burn for the ages. On the set of Gladiator, Russell allegedly unleashed his wrath on the producer with three AM screaming matches and chilling threats of bodily harm. Why? Because he felt DreamWorks had lowballed an assistant. Sure, loyalty is admirable, but life threats probably aren't the best negotiation tactic. These aren't isolated incidents. Remember the time he threw a phone at a hotel concierge? Or the numerous on-set blowouts with directors and crew? Russell's talent is undeniable, but so is his tendency to let his temper get the better of him. 6. Ben Stiller Ben Stiller, the comedic genius behind classics like Zoolander and Meet the Parents, might make you laugh on screen, but rumors paint a picture of a real-life jerk. It seems the funniest guys sometimes harbor a mean streak, and Ben is no exception. Reports of his entitled behavior abound, fitting for a superstar born into Hollywood royalty. His infamous two ice cube meltdown over a Diet Coke is the stuff of diva legend. Why two? Who knows? Unreasonable demands rarely make sense. And let's not forget the parking spot saga, where his assistant's job is literally to stand guard, ensuring no one snags his precious space. Surely a man of his stature could figure out a more efficient system. Perhaps the most damning evidence comes from a Reddit user who worked on the set of Tropic Thunder. They describe Ben as universally horrible, even firing an employee over the perceived lack of sweetness in his coffee. It seems drink-related offenses are particularly unforgivable for Ben. So, would you agree he's one of Hollywood's biggest jerks? 5. Liv Tyler Liv Tyler the doe-eyed beauty known for her roles in The Lord of the Rings and her rock star lineage might carry a magical presence on screen, but rumors paint a far less enchanting picture off-camera. Stories swirl about a spoiled diva, quick to anger and slow to appreciate, earning her the unflattering reputation as one of Hollywood's biggest jerks. Imagine this. A crew member scurries to adjust a light, only to be met with a scathing remark from Liv about their incompetence. She berates assistants for the temperature of her latte being a degree off, expecting perfection on par with her own lofty self-image. This attitude 
seems to be her default mode, suggesting a sense of entitlement shaped by a lifetime of privilege and fame. Fans fare no better. Tales of dismissive encounters and icy glares replace the warmth her characters often exude. Requests for autographs are met with bored sighs, as if the fans who support her career are a mere nuisance. The illusion of the approachable starlet shatters, leaving a bitter aftertaste. Let's be honest, celebrity life exists in a pressure cooker. Bad moods and misunderstandings are bound to happen. But when the stories pile up, they suggest a pattern of behavior that goes beyond a few off days. Liv is undeniably talented, but it seems that talent may be paired with an ego in need of a serious reality check. 4. Catherine Zeta-Jones Catherine Zeta-Jones, the Oscar-winning actress known for her glamorous roles and undeniable talent, might be a beloved screen siren, but rumors swirl that Catherine displays a shocking sense of entitlement, treating those around her with dismissive disdain. Her reputation for stiffing waitstaff, despite amassing a considerable fortune, is appallingly common. One Reddit user recounted their experience working at Mandalay Bay, where Catherine allegedly expected royal treatment and rewarded it with a zero tip. This lack of basic generosity, especially from an individual of her wealth, suggests a disregard for those who serve her. And how about that time she demanded a hotel gym be shut down entirely for her private use? Catherine reportedly cleared out an entire condo fitness facility, denying residents their amenities. This extreme need for exclusivity demonstrates a shocking lack of consideration for others and an inflated view of her own importance. While celebrity lives exist in a bubble of privilege, this kind of behavior goes beyond a few diva moments. Catherine's alleged actions reveal a troubling pattern of treating others as mere servants. It makes you wonder if the charm she exudes on screen is merely an act, masking a callous disregard for those outside her privileged circle. What a jerk, right? 3. Charlie Sheen the name alone conjures images of a wild-eyed man ranting about tiger blood and winning, a far cry from his once-beloved sitcom persona. Charlie's spectacular fall from grace reads like a Hollywood cautionary tale, fueled by a tornado of substance misuse, jaw-dropping scandals, and a complete disregard for anyone caught in his path. Charlie's public meltdowns were legendary, exposing a man seemingly unhinged. His bizarre interviews and rambling social media posts became a twisted form of entertainment, a world away from the charming goofball on Two and a Half Men. But the spectacle masked a darker reality. Behind the scenes, reports paint Charlie as a ticking time bomb. His explosive dismissal from his hit show came after a venomous feud with its creator, showcasing an utter lack of professionalism. Stories whisper of terrifying onset rages and mistreatment of colleagues. His personal life was a train wreck. Ex-partners also painted a picture of mistreatment and threats, while his HIV positive status sparked further controversy. It seemed as if Charlie cared little for any consequences, his reckless behavior leaving a trail of damage in his wake. Sure, addiction is a disease, but it doesn't give someone a free pass to be a monster. He's the textbook definition of a Hollywood bad boy taken to a terrifying extreme, making Charlie a real jerk. 2. David Boreanaz David Boreanaz, the name once evoked images of a smoldering hero, whether as the tortured vampire Angel or the steadfast Agent Booth. But whispers from the shadows tell a different story, presenting him as one of Hollywood's most notorious bad boys, and not in a charming way. The scandal rocked his world when his affair with Rachel Ushitel, infamous for her role in Tiger Woods' Fall from Grace, hit the headlines. The perfect husband image crumbled overnight, then came the harassment allegations from a Bones extra alleging inappropriate texts and unrelenting advances from the show's star. These stories aren't just tabloid fodder, though. They expose a troubling pattern. It makes you wonder if David got lost in the fantasy of his on-screen roles, blurring the lines between charming rogue and real-life predator. Did he think fame gave him a free pass to exploit his power? David has admitted to the affair, offering the standard celebrity apology. But can that erase the way he tarnished the characters we loved? Suddenly, 
The brooding hero looks a lot more sinister when you imagine the man behind the mask, am I right? 1. Bill Cosby Bill Cosby, once America's beloved dad, thanks to his role in The Cosby Show, has seen his legacy irrevocably destroyed. His fall from grace is one of the most shocking in Hollywood history, revealing a monstrous predator lurking beneath the wholesome facade. Decades of allegations from multiple women painted a horrifying picture of a man who used his fame, wealth, and avuncular image to drug and assault victims. These accusations, initially brushed aside by a public unable to reconcile the cuddly comedian with such heinous acts, were finally proven devastatingly true in court. Cosby's conviction on multiple counts of S.A. cemented his reputation as one of Hollywood's most vile figures. His actions were not simply those of a flawed man, but a calculated predator who exploited his position of trust to inflict unspeakable trauma. The damage Bill inflicted is immeasurable. He betrayed the public who adored him, forever tarnishing a nostalgic sitcom by exposing the man behind it as a monster. He violated countless women, shattering their lives and deepening the existing distrust many women have toward powerful men. Who is the biggest jerk in your opinion? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.